Welcome to the More Insights and Strategy video podcast. I'm Anshul Sog, Principal Analyst with More Insights and Strategy, and this week we have Media Tech Vice President James Chen. Hi, Ms. James. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Anshul. Glad to be here. And I just wanted to kick things off by, um, you know, for our audience, you know, possibly could you tell us your role at Media Tech and what your responsibilities entail? Absolutely. Uh, I'm the Vice President of Product Technology Marketing. So as his name suggests, I'm responsible for really articulating the uh, products and technology benefits that MediaTek has to all of our uh, customers here in the United States. Great. And I know that, you know, MediaTek has really catapulted itself as a leader in the connectivity space. And I wanted to, you know, talk about how you guys have accomplished that in Wi-Fi and 5G, and if you could maybe tell our audience how you guys became so prevalent, prevalent, prevalent in the market. Yeah, good question. You now, to be honest, uh, I guess you can best encapsulate it by saying that we just work really hard. Um, I think in cellular, um, we've always been there uh, through uh, 2G, 3G, 4G, and now 5G. And, and uh, so we've always had that lineage. On Wi-Fi, to be honest, we were not the first uh, previous generations, but in Wi-Fi 7, we really put in the investment, uh, the R&D resources, and also uh, the marketing might so that bring forth uh, Wi-Fi 7 solutions uh, earlier and, and be a market leader uh, this time. And many people are familiar with MediaTek and smartphones, right? Um, and it makes sense that MediaTek is successful with Wi-Fi there. But could you possibly tell us other segments where MediaTek is also successful in Wi-Fi? Well, that's a great question. You know, um, we sell Wi-Fi in just about any device that you see. Uh, the laptop that you're using right now, uh, we sell uh, Wi-Fi into routers in the home. Uh, Wi-Fi is part of every uh, one of our platforms, like TV. Uh, is also, for example, our uh, Pentonic line and also Campanio, our tablet solutions and Chromebook solutions. So, so just about uh, Wi-Fi and just about everything, uh, every device that you touch, every platform that you see from Unitech, it's uh, it's really, really prevalent. Yeah, and I've, I've kind of seen that growth happening, especially with this generation around Wi-Fi 7, but even also Wi-Fi 6. I was really impressed last year when you guys announced that partnership with AMD, and uh, I think that kind of took a lot of people by surprise, but, uh, you know, the momentum seems to really be gaining. Mm. And and I know that, you know, um, right now all the buzz is around, you know, Wi-Fi 7 in the Wi-Fi space. And I know you guys have a few products in that area. Could you possibly delve a little bit more deeply in how they fit into the current market? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so we uh, gave uh, the world's first peek into what Wi-Fi 7 can do uh, a little over, uh, almost about a year ago. And then we followed that up in May with our announcement of the PhiLogic 380, which is our Wi-Fi 7 machine for a client, like a phone uh, or a PC. And then we also simultaneously announced PhiLogic 880, which is our solution for on the access point side. Mm -hmm. so, and so these were trying to go after you know, all the market segments that we, we talked about previously, whether it's consumer devices, whether it's in, uh, networking equipment, uh, service providers, um, you know, uh, even markets beyond that. Um, and and I know that you you know you guys have done really well in the mobile segment, but um, performance is a really big component of Wi-Fi seven. And I was wondering if there were any additional benefits uh, to Wi-Fi seven that you guys see coming along with that. Well, absolutely. Wi-Fi seven has this great, fantastic new feature called MLO for multi-link operation, and it's not just about bonding together more frequencies to get a big, bigger pipe for bigger speed. That's you know obviously one of the main advantages. But the other advantage that's not so often talked about is that MLO allows much lower latency and also allows the network to be able to roam much more consistently and reliably. So that's the, the big thing about uh, Wi-Fi 7 as well. And I think I remember you talking about coverage as well. Are there some coverage benefits that come with it as well? Well, certainly uh, when you bond uh, lower frequencies like 2.4 and 5 to higher frequencies like 6, you, know, you can extend the range. Um, and then on top of that, MediaTek also has what we call universal enhancement features. For example, we add a fifth antenna so that it can the coverage expands up to about 30%. So there is stuff uh, a little bit beyond the standards that we do, but that work for everybody, not just MediaTek and MediaTek, benefit everybody that will kind of just uh, make Wi-Fi 7 experience all that much better. And since you touched on it... Um... MediaTek has some unique capabilities regarding Wi-Fi 7. Could you explain what those are and how they work? 
Yes, absolutely. So in addition to the fifth antenna on our access point side, on the access point, we've also have this really unique implementation and architecture for MLO. Basically, we have a single chip MLO architecture. And what that allows is that allows the latencies to be 100 times lower than what our competitors can do. And on top of that, when you make a product using our access point uh, Wi-Fi 7 solution with this new architecture, the area can be up to 20% smaller. And uh, you know that's just the win-win. And then on the client side, we have uh, things where we can aggregate up to 360 megahertz of total spectrum, and again, in MLO. Mm -hmm. And that will give you about six and a half gigabit per second of speed, the highest in the industry. Okay. But uh, also will extend range because we're bonding 2.4 and six together. So highest speed, longest range, it's a win-win for everybody. And I know that you guys, you know, talked a lot about it yesterday. Um, you know, I was really excited about what the capabilities are with Wi-Fi 7. Um, you know, some of the future applications I've also seen happening. Um, do you guys have some thoughts on Wi-Fi 7 with like the Metaverse and XR? Well, perfect example. I would say the low latency aspect of Wi-Fi 7, I think, you know, IEEE really did a great job and, and WFA as well, you know, really to bring to the forefront the latency angle. Things to do with AR, VR, XR certainly will benefit. We also said yesterday, uh, benefit for TVs. If you want to have wireless surround sound, obviously you're going to communicate all that audio information over Wi-Fi, now Wi-Fi 7 with lower latency. So you know your video and audio will just sound more in sync and more rich. And there's, you know, I'm sure there'll be applications beyond that where you require real time you know, instant results, right? And so I think that's what's going to separate Wi-Fi 7, not just the speed. Um, so that's what we're, that's why we're so excited about it. Great. And is there anything else you'd like our audience to know about Wi-Fi 7 or MediaTek's Wi-Fi solutions that maybe we didn't cover? I think uh, just in general, I would say that uh, if you look at our past, right, like I said earlier, we were not always the first to any particular Wi-Fi technology. What I want people to understand is that we really have worked really hard in the past few years behind the scenes to really kind of catapult ourselves and place us in the current situation. We really are, you know, one of the you know leading uh, vendors on Wi-Fi now, specifically with Wi-Fi 7. And I think it really bespeaks to Minitech's intention to really be a leader in the space and uh, really engage in tier one customers. Um, so yeah, that's what I think I will end with. Great. Uh, thanks again for joining us on oh, the Morning you. Insights thank you, Spectre Andrew. Radio Podcast. And uh, it's been a pleasure. I, you know, it's been great seeing you again. It's, it's been a while. And, yes. Good uh, seeing you in the flesh. Right. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thanks.